I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com. I'm with Lee Carpenter of Allen & Heath. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? Now tell me a little bit about this new console. Uh, this is the uh, Mix Wizard WZ3. Yes, this is the new monitor mix console from Allen & Heath. Uh, again, it's in the Mix Wizard format, so it has a lot of the same features and capabilities as all the other Mix Wizards. Uh, if you want to run through the console real quick, basically the console has 16 input channels by 12 mixes. You can take all of the mixes and enact them into stereo channels to give you six stereo mix capabilities. It has the same switching and EQ as found in the Mix Wizard series, and it has a lot of the same color coding as the Mix Wizard series as well. On the back side, you have a built in split with ground lift capabilities, and you have mounting options right under the plastic tabs here. And all of the other same features again as the Mix Wizard series. Okay, now for people who uh, are just coming into being able to afford a console like this, because this is what about, uh, they ha I know they haven't priced it, but the ones on either side here are going between a grand and fifteen hundred. Uh, what's the advantage of this console? The advantage of this console is you get a lot of mix capabilities in a small format console. This again can give you up to 12 mixes and a uh, control like this was unparalleled and we're several hundred dollars below the next competitors. So it gives you a lot of price advantages and it gives you a lot of input and output advantages with a built in split, all of these stereo capabilities as well. Who likes these mixers? Uh, who in the uh, the music world is using them? Any, any notable names that we might recognize? Well, since this was just released, this is not any notable names. I've had several bands come up and ask if, uh, uh, as far as way of being able to fly out with it, uh, I have a couple of bands that are on a label. A band Moses Mayfield is on Epic Records. They're about to take one out on the road with them on their next tour. And a few other bands I'm sure will pick it up because a lot of the bands that are, are fly-in bands, if you will, that don't travel full-time on the road like to be able to carry a mixer this size because they can check it in with luggage and it's under the 50 pound weight limit and so forth. Okay, great. I've been talking with Lee Carpenter. I'm Joe Wallace on the floor of NAM 2007 for GearWire.com.